Hello and welcome! This video is about Party Rush and we will show you everything that it is about and how it works and how you can get into one of these groups as well. So without further ado, let us jump to the start of how it works. Here we go. So first things first is where can I obtain the item I need? And it's in South Valencia and any one of these places and you're looking for this item right here warhorn cadre gatekeeper now there's going to be other party rushes but for now this is cadre gatekeeper is the person that we're fighting so as you can see in hadoom or the world of elion you can get this item and the other place is east valencia so only those two places and as uh, i show you here <laughs> once i'm done Switch into Hadoom. There you go. This is the place where I'm at, the Lava Devourer. And this is where I've been farming for uh, the past few, you know, two days to get this item. And I am pleased to tell you that the item has dropped. It looks just like this. However, there is a 24 hour time limit on it. So once you get it, and here's the information about it. Once you get it, you want to assemble your guildmates or your uh, bloodkin and go for it. So here's what you do. Once you tap on it, you, these are the rewards. We should cover that, of course. Chaos Core, Dark Inscribed Glyph, uh, Kafra Secret Book Page, Lapis Lazuli, and of course some money. Crimson Sculptor. Very nice. As you can see, this is a very high ticket item and thing to do so once you uh, start it up it says party and at the bottom left corner <laughs> you you can it says form a party with your guildmates or your bloodkin and here you go there's the tab for the bloodkin and you can see if they're online or offline and guild uh, you can see where they're online or offline and as you can see I clicked on these guys way too fast I didn't know there was a time delay, but that's okay. Let's just go back up and you see, yeah. And that guildmate can't receive uh, invites, but these two can. But I have a confession to make. This is a casual guild. And, uh, you know, I can't switch it to... Uh, from private to public because that's just not the way it's designed it's specifically for helping your guildmates and your bloodkin so what I'm going to do is uh, I mean you can't even enter by yourself because it's meant to be a group thing so what I want to do is cut over to the uh, the patch notes and show you some more information about this event here we go and here we are and I just wanted to go over the developers comments uh, party rush was developed to provide a boost for adventurers to overcome the early game CP block and also to encourage guild and bloodkin activity the low drop rate of warhorn cadre gatekeeper did did you hear me right the low drop rate will make it feel more rewarding when you obtain it and boy did it after two days of uh, farming for this like crazy it really was awesome when I got one we expect that adventurers will be able to bond with guild members and bloodkin by participating in party rushes together and gradually increase their CP with the addition of abyssal party rush in a future update so let's go ahead and go to the bullet points uh, down below and point some stuff out. Here we go. So just to summarize a few things here that uh, definitely has been added, can only be used by adventures with 13,000 CP or above. And let's see, you can obtain this item in East and South Valencia, we covered that. And you can invite up to two other guild members or bloodkin to your party. So if those other two said yes, I'd be good to go. And just some other things. Uh, it's consumed once you use it. And there it is. The instance lasts for 30 minutes. 
and can be re-entered within that time. And of course, the rewards, if you use it, you get 100 Chaos Cores, and the others get 20 Chaos Cores right there. So that's really cool. And of course, the stipulation at the bottom must be used within 24 hours and can be sold to the NPC after it expires. So what we're going to do now is something a little fun. I'm just going to show you a fight with the Kadri Gatekeeper <laughs> so you can see what that's like. And then we'll go ahead and close out this video. So without further ado, let's bring on the Kadri Gatekeeper. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is access the Kadri Gatekeeper through the boss rush feature in the game. And we're going to do Hadoom uh, because still working on him on that. And yep, we only have him at level 50 or I have 50 to use. He's at level 89 and I just going to wimp out on this one. We're going to drop his strength down to about there. <laughs> I'm a PvE or what do you want? <laughs> so there we go and a few things about him when your party gets in and that is there's a mob of people that will always bum rush you at the start he's that big guy in the back with the dual weapons and he will rush you he will constantly rush you and do big damage so what I'm catching on to is I'm just gonna try this see if the uh, pillars are connected to his people coming out so we'll see about uh, getting away from him and destroying these pillars but as you can see he is definitely always on you he wants you gone <laughs> so we're almost done get rid of these pillars and yes, I realize that I'm doing significant damage to him. You know, that's, that's great. That's, that's really great. <laughs> so the pillars are gone. No, I just saw them still spawn in, in the center. So let's go ahead and just say thank you and goodbye to this guy. Uh, right here. Hey, all right. Getting to level. And that is the Kadri Gatekeeper's boss, or the fight. So what we're going to do now is skip over and do our outro. See you there. So on behalf of Archmage and myself, I, we both want to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, let people know, always making more videos, and there is just no end to all the videos that can be made. So once again, thank you very much, and you have a great day. Take care. Bye now.